Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see that how we can add uh, ESXi host to vCenter server. So we know that vCenter server provides us a centralized platform from where we can manage multiple ESXi hosts. So that's something we are going to see in this video and here you can see in, in our uh, VMware we have this ESXi host and the IP address for that is 192.168.10.148 which I have shown here you can see 192.168.10.148 and now this is actually the vCenter server and the IP address for this is 192.168.10.149 so first we are going to maybe log in into our ESXi host using the username and password which we created in our previous videos so you can see that video how to um, maybe install this ESXi host and meanwhile we can also click on this uh, vCenter server so launch vSphere client and meanwhile we can also see the progress here as well for this ESXi host and once we are here so in this vCenter server we will first create a data center so here you can see we just right click and we also have done this thing i think in our uh, some other video but first we are going to create a data center and within that data center we will create a cluster so you can see new cluster and then we are not going to enable this trs or ha at the moment so let's say name is like new cluster you can have any name so we can say new cluster one let's say this is the name of that cluster and let's finish so now what we have done is that we have created a data center and within that data center we have this cluster and now in this cluster we are going to add we are going to add a host so in that case we just simply click on this add host and this is the host which we are going to add here so this is the host so it's just taking some time let's see but this is the host which we are going to add in this vCenter server so here we have to give the IP address for that. So IP address for this is 192.168.10.148. So I'm going to copy this IP address from here and just copy and paste. And then the username is root and the password is, you should know the password. And we are going to add that password. Maybe I need to retype it, I retype it and then once i have entered the password we just have to click next but meanwhile we have to confirm that we have this this has been logged in into our esxi host yes so we can see that now this has uh, we we are logged in into our esxi host and now here you can see here at the time of adding we have given the details of esxi host so this is the ip address of our host which we want to add to this vcenter server and this is the username and this is the password and then i simply click next and now you can see the certificate on one host could not be verified so yes we are with the sha thumbprint of the certificate is listed below so this is the sha thumbprint which we'll be using for this we click there and then we click OK and here you can see this shows that this is the host summary which we are adding to this vCenter server this is that this is the name also this is the IP address or the host name of the ESXi host which we have here you can see this is the ESXi host which we are adding here and then this is the version of that ESXi so this is the version yes this is 7.0 and that's the model number so this is a summary and then we click next and then we just click on finish so after this we should see that host added to our vcenter server you can see this is the host yes so when we click here this is for host and this is for virtual machine this is for storage and this is for network and you can see now this host has been added refresh it and it may take some time but you can see within this data center we have a cluster and that in that cluster we have added one host and on that host this is our host on that host we have this uh, virtual machine actually that is vmware vcenter server which we install 
In the same way, if you want to add more hosts in this cluster, we can just simply right click there and then we can add hosts. And then once we have multiple hosts, then we can actually configure multiple things there. But this video was only uh, some demonstration that how we can add a host to vCenter server. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.